party. Halt! Inward! Turn! Lower! Up! Lower! Take the strain. Up. Lower. 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 Bear a party. Slow. March. Heavenly Father, you have created us and love Stand. us. We commit Fire. Edward Dwyer to your mercy, Reload. knowing that you will do what is Revenge. right for him. Fire. We will give his body Reload. to be buried, earth to earth, ashes Revenge. to ashes, dust Fire. to dust. To you be glory forever. Amen. I know he'd have wanted you to have this. He was so proud of being a soldier, so proud of being in the SAS. I'm sure you were very proud of him too, Mum. I would have been proud of him, whatever he'd done, I would have been proud of him being the bloody milkman. Mostly. I was just scared for him. Ever since the first day he joined up. I don't want this. No offence, but... He can have it. Meant more to him anyway. Maybe more than his family. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Dwyer. You're not going to start marming me as well, are you? No. I'm, uh, Staff Sergeant Garvey. Are you? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm not as familiar with death as you are. I don't know how to do this. Ed was a great lad. And a good soldier. You're Heno, aren't you? Yes. Ed said you were the only one he was really frightened of. He always had a good sense of humour. No, he didn't. It was about that. He never, ever liked you. I'm so... I don't know how to behave with... with all this...
Nothing important. So, what did she say? Becca, it's personal. Take the hint. What's your problem? You're more murderous than usual. It's Ed's wake, Dave. I mean, come on, mate. Who are you expecting? Johnny bloody chuckles. I know who's wake it is, Louis, and I'm choked too. But it's not like any of us is to blame. Well, it isn't. Look, guys, if you want to be sad, fine. Be sad. I'm sad. But there is no point being guilty. It's one of them things. You know what, Dave? When I need you to start handing out forgiveness, then I'll really know I'm screwed. Good. I can live with that. Ed can't, though, can he? Oi. That's a low blow. Well, who died in elected day, bloody Padre? You know what, Louis? Do you know what I really would like to know? I don't give a monkey. No, because you are the bloody monkey, so why don't you sod off and let the organ grinder here fight his own battles, eh? What's up with that? Louis is right. Feeling that philosophical about it, you shouldn't be here. Steady. And what's he saying? Easy come, easy go. That is not what I'm saying. Bollocks! Ed was one of us. And if you're not bothered about it, got a nerve turning up at the wake. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Let me get the drinks in. What? Did Come you say on, you no dramas. Back in your cages. Louis, what can I get you? You out! Let go of me, you idiot! Right, you asked for it. Louis. Get off of him! Come here. Dave, get off of him! Get off! Get off of him! Stop it, you two! Stop it, kill you! Stop it! Shouldn't you be stopping that, Heno? you'd all like to join me on a lovely run. Outside, running kit, stretching exercises, three minutes. What's your problem? That would be, what's your problem, sir? All right. What's your problem, sir? My problem, Staff Sergeant, is that I've been given command of this troop that can't obey orders, hold its drink, or stop fighting itself. And I thought I ran Red Troop. Not anymore. Hands oh. up! Long time coming, Henry. Oh, God. You can't run this bloody unit like a maverick anymore. Time for a new broom. Captain Fleming is it. Can I have a word, sir? Don't want to hear it. Not interested. Sorry. Want you outside, full runner kit, now in two minutes. Well, you heard the man. You all right? Sound as a pound. We should be able to run the legs off this roof, but... Yeah, how about with the handover that was stun an elephant? Come again? No offence, but your eyes look like poached eggs on acid. Yeah, well, at least my match. <laughs> Fighting fit? Let's see if there's any use left in you, or whether it's time to return you all to your units. You joking? Shouldn't think so. I haven't got a sense of humour. Lead off, Staff Sergeant. I'll try and keep up. You ready for the picnic tomorrow? Yes, indeed, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, on a day off, you call me William. And I'll promise not to call you Mr. Trader Tasha. <laughs> now, you know Jason Parnell. Um, this is Taras Rostrum. He'll be our escort tomorrow. Local security. Rat was not Kormista. Not a use from Radista Sosiski. Your Bukhari is impeccable. Oh, don't forget, we've got a run to do first. 
if that bet stood on. Always happy to run, bet or no bet. <laughs> now, early to bed tonight, girls. Big day tomorrow. Please, now we'll get your luggage sent in later. Need to. You see the way Hanno looked at him? Fleming's got the life expectancy of a jammed donut at a Weight Watchers convention. Hanno will sort it out. Oh, excuse me. It's no big deal. They're just press. I'm familiar with the equipment mess. I'm just not used to finding them in my shower. This is our shower. Good job from Blue Troop, isn't it? He's not in Blue Troop. Before your time. Used to be in Blue Troop. I've been away on Sakoma with a young. Tufty Club. Silky. What's the difference? Search me. They just assign me to your troop. I'm Finn Hunger. Yes? Permission to speak freely, sir. When have you not? I think this is a bad idea. What is? Placing this chinless wonder in over my head. If you want to discipline me, sir, bust me down or return me to my unit. But I believe people will get hurt if we go operational with this captain in charge. Why? Because he's not one of us. One of what? You know what I mean, sir. No, I don't, just as you don't know anything about him. Other than the fact that he just ran your ass off. The news travels fast. That's enough. Permission to speak freely ended. Tomorrow morning at Sparrow Fire, Red Troop will fly out to Germany for a week's exercise with GSG-9, where Captain Fleming will get to know you all better and make an assessment of the unit. I make the bloody assessments of Red Troop. Not anymore! Mind your damn language when you speak to me. Now. Park your prejudices at the door, Henry, and assess him on his merit. Patrick Fleming is the real deal. Watch closely. You may even agree with me. Just for show, sir. Trying to unsike you. <laughs> this flower. Zlapusti? Zlapusti, yes. Good, good. Soon you speak Bukhari. Beautiful children you have. Funny rabbit. Look after this for me. I'll time you. Uh, hey, my little princess. Mm. Uh, back soon. Take care. Worst thing that can happen is I have to run at half speed so as not to show the ambassador up.
What's it like treating with the Germans? Tell you what, Jock! As long as you remember not to mention the war, don't stand behind them after they've had their sausages and beer. It's a picnic! That's the famous Cockney irony, is it? No, it's a fart joke! It's what Louis does instead of irony! I don't think he likes being called Jock, mate. You are? I don't think he likes being called Jock. Did I mean anything by it? Hey, you like that monster? It's the business. You went for the L97 and the long barrel. Anything that gets you closer to the target. It's nice. Who is John? Aye. Take a target out from a thousand meters. They never know what hit them. <laughs> and you can do that from a thousand. Aye. So you're saying you're the business too? No. I'm saying I'm the best. So that's not irony. And I guess you don't do modesty either. I do modesty fine. I do honesty first. <sighs> Hell of a view. Huh? You're on a clear day. You should be able to see Russia from here. Yes, but that would be over there. You're looking towards Ingushetia. Can I always get my east muddled up with my west? Don't tell the foreign secretary, for God's sake. <laughs> it's really peaceful here. It is. You never know we're sitting on a powder keg, jammed in between the Russians over there and the Ingushetians over there, watching them toss matches at each other. It's a three-way fight. The only people who are going to lose are the user by Carly. Well, that's why HMG wants a low profile. No provocations. No brush fires. No bush wars. Anything for a quiet life. <laughs> Should they put the sausages on, sir? Mm. Fire them up. You want a head start? Yeah, right. They're on their way down. I hope you enjoy the posting here. I know I will if these runs become a regular feature. I'm up for it. Good man. And who knows, I might actually return to the UK fitter than when I left it. Sentimental, so wrong. The little girls are exactly what we want. No, no. Take me, Ted, I beg you, take me. It's all right, baby, don't worry. Sir, you become 
You do what I say, you see your parents again. We'll make a fuzz. We're very hard for them, okay? What? Trouble. There are no patrols here. Tell them that. Stay calm. Shh. Hey, you the British? Well, I look like British. <laughs> no, it's security detail. Just taking kids back to town. Best of them are back there. Can I help you? No, it's fine. Uh, we're just in the area. Mm. Good. Well, you see. You bees have sent in a hunter team, but the mayor's was standing straight. Dempsey. Just a moment, sir. Where's Red Troop's plane now? Here. About to start descent for landing. Give me the pilot. I can have boots in the dirt an hour and a half, sir. But one of our troops is en route to a training session in Bavaria. Well, the Germans will just have to play soldiers by themselves. It's Hereford. Change of plan. The children of a British diplomat have been kidnapped in Uzzelbay Carl. We've been tasked to help local forces track and retreat. I didn't know we had an embassy there. We didn't, until last month. The intel's entirely preliminary, but it appears that the kidnappers are heading for an area called Three Corners, where three countries, Uzzelbay Carl, Russia, and Ingushetia touch. Who's a bad Carl? That's an ex-Soviet state, right? You used to be controlled by an ex-communist hardliner. He was opposing the bloodless coup last year. Now diplomatic relations have been restored. Only flying the ointment is the Russians, who don't like their ex-satellite states breaking away and turning to the West. Sounds lovely. Can't wait. Won't have to. We're jumping in. And taking the bikes. I don't know the right dosage for kid. I've only done battlefield medicine. Well, use your judgment. Just don't kill her. <sighs> don't move. Uh, uh, uh. You've killed 
killed her. No, no, no. She's asleep. Well done. You'll carry her. embarrassed as hell. The security services are falling over themselves to apologize. I have to say, Henry, from limited contact, they're extremely highly strung. Yeah, well, they should be. Where's Fleming? He's debriefing the father. Would you mind holding, sir? Is there anything else? My daughter has my watch. The diplomatic watch. Sir, so we've just had a breakthrough. The daughter's wearing a father's watch. Put Fleming on! Sir. Fleming? Excuse me. Whiting! One of the girls has got a father's watch. Get Cheltenham to activate the satellite tracker package now. Okay. As soon as we have ping back, we'll bounce it to your comlink and you go fetch. But keep it dark. There's no need for the UBs to know about the technology. What are my operational parameters, RE liaison with the UBs? Strictly first aid stuff. We've just re-established diplomatic relations. So no hands below the waist, and we certainly don't swap bodily fluids. Understood. Do we have a time scale on that tracker watch? Depends whether we have to beg the favor of the Yanks to retask a Sattler. Cancel my last, that's a go. Looks like beginner's luck, Patrick. There's a heli inbound to suit the area. Have they got heat images? Of course not. They've got cardboard belts. Excuse me. Helicopter is Augusta 109. We just bought from America. It's not a cardboard belt. I'm sorry. No insult intended. He's just very keen to get on that trail. Louis right. Trying to find people in dense forests with their helis fine, unless they hear it coming. 
and do something really high-tech like hide under a tree. We need to get after them on foot ASAP. That's exactly what is happening. I have my best men on it. Polkovnik, Hunter team have found the ambassador's vehicle in the forest. I told you, they are trained trackers and hunters. So, uh, thank you for dropping in, old boy, but you really needn't have bothered. Well, I think this is going awfully well so far. Don't you? Это первая разведрота. Погоди. Мы обнаружили заброшенный автомобиль. Полковник! Первая разведрота нашла заброшенную технику. Идите вперед, первый развед роты. Отсюда они пошли пешком, лесом. Погоди. Please. I'm calling the office of your president on the number given to me by my prime minister's office to call in case of operational problems. I am not an operational problem. Please confirm anything you need to with them. I don't need to be watching my back while we're looking for those little girls. Look. We are both on the same side. But I am under orders to attach men to your troop to make sure you don't get into any unnecessary danger. Don't worry about us. Worry about the little girls. Worry about the kidnappers. Where the danger, Sergeant? We'll pick up their trail at the ambush point. Oh, I'm sure. But do any of your men speak Baikali? No. Then please wait while I have an interpreter who does speak Baikali. For the sake of the little girls, you will need... How long? You will need one in case you get into standoff. I have one here in one hour. The trail goes cold in minutes, not hours. Sergeant. You're right. But so's he. We go. You have your man catch up with us if you can. All calm. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm only in this country because I speak by Carly. And those are my girls. You can look after my wife, please, sir. You fit? This is a bad idea. Two marathons in the last six months. You can do what you're told. I can do what I'm told. I can do anything to save my girls. Fine. Kit him out, mic him up, show him how it works. We leave him five. He's emotionally involved. Two small children being dragged through the forest by men who will kill them. I'm emotionally involved, Sergeant. You can take Putovkin. No room for passengers. He's not a passenger, he's a good soldier. Then you have to take him, so that I fulfill my orders. Fine. But if you can't keep up, we leave him behind. He'll drive you there. He can hold on and try not to fall off. We bought our own transport. There isn't enough room on the quads. Who stays behind? You, Sergeant. Are you serious? You cannot leave me behind. It's done. A word in private, sir. You want to cut my balls off? Use one of these. I was going to task you to stay before this happened. 
I need solid backup, and I don't trust this lot yet. Plus the fact you're injured after that run, and chances are we're going to end up off the quads and on foot at speed. It's just a strain. It's a sign of bad leadership. My bad leadership. On the run, I was making a point at your expense. Just because you didn't know where to stop, I should have. Accept my apology. Stay here, run comms, watch the UBs, protect our backs. Hello. What's going on? You're not coming in. I have a helicopter inbound now to check out Hunter Team's last position. Tell them not to shoot us. We'll be the ones on the bikes. Escorting Mrs. Malik back to the capital, there's transport standing by. I want to stay here. In your position, I'd feel exactly the same way. But this is one of those occasions where you'll be of more use, out of the way, leaving us to get on with our job. My girls. Sir. Mrs. Malik, we have no idea how this will go. Time is of the essence. You may be needed to make an appeal to the kidnappers, and the TV stations are in the capital. Aren't I right, sir? Sergeant's right, Fiona. And we should get back to a place of safety. Uh, Romeo one zero Alpha, this is Zero Alpha. You're getting ping back from Cheltenham, over. This is Romeo 10 Alpha and patching the signal to your sat nav now. Durak! Durak! Romeo 10 Alpha, this is Zero Alpha. Target acquired. We're locked on. Out.
Slušaj, mena je natljivač. Proše to munje. Upelni, aja? What's happened? We've lost contact. The helicopter is shot down. Zero Alpha, Zero Alpha. This is Romeo One, Zero Alpha. The heli is down. Repeat. The heli is down. Out. Brilliant. Well, this is all turning to rat shit. Welcome to Uzubaikal. Will he task in another helicopter? <laughs> We're a small army. We have seven helicopters. This morning only two of them were flyable because we don't have the people to service them. Now that's down to one. And he's not going to risk losing that one on this. That's why he's getting hysterical. <laughs> Don't survive the claymore. They slaughtered him afterwards. Your girl, so. You should wait with the bikes, no point in you looking at this. Shit stays with you. You don't need that in your head. Perfect killing ground. Oh, so that's not what they're doing. So do we. Right, listen in. These guys are ruthless and seem to have the hardware to back it up. We we'll press on but keep intervals in case there's any more of these claymores ahead. It's not like the one here is coming. Which way, boss? Same direction the helicopter was flying. Your English is uh, very good. Spasibo. They send you on a language course. No, your enemy type of thing. No, poetry. I love poetry. I learn English for love of William Shakespeare. Read him in his own beautiful native tongue. No shit. <laughs> a lot of shit. <laughs> no. I learn English in Spetsnaz, language school. So I can know what you bastards are saying in your foxhole. Before I creep in and cut your throats and steal your girlfriend's panties. Nastrovia! I'm sorry. There's a toast. Russian. I come um, up your bum. Never on a first date. So why do you think they took the kids? No idea. But kidnapping children, I castrate the bastards. We found the helicopter. No survivors. Excuse me. What are you going on on foot, sir? Terrain's getting steeper. It'd be too easy to blunder into another booby trap if we stay on the bikes. We can be heard coming a mile away. These guys clearly like a bit of an ambush. 
Corporal Walston, would you give Mr. Malik a crash course in our hand signals, then Mr. Malik pass them on to Sergeant Podovkin. Five minutes. I want quiet from now on in. Eat, hydrate, then we move on. They've ditched the transport. They're tabbing it. They're, um, here. I got in front of the ministry. Where's he going? Got a secure line in his Mercedes. So you haven't got money to service helicopters, but your colonel's all right around in Mercedes. Armoured Mercedes. Welcome to the post-Soviet era, Sergeant. I got you his last train. Have one for me. Is there a problem, Sergeant? No. Can I see? Sure. Be my guest. That icon represents Red Troop. Just making sure they don't get lost. Hey. One day they replace old soldiers, real soldiers like us with uh, robots and drones. Well, as you haven't perfected the cup of tea, I uh, wouldn't worry just yet. <laughs> he wants to know if you can get porno on that thing. Is that what he wants? When he's been looking me up and down, I was uh, wondering when he was going to ask me out on a date. <laughs> Don't worry about him. I've known him a long time. He's not like that. He's one of the good guys. Right. So, uh, when do you think these kidnappers will make their ransom demand? Could be any time. Ingushetians, Chechnyans. Your guess is as good as mine. Gorbachev yelled since, since they gave away the farm. There are animals of all kinds wandering about out there. You, uh, miss the old days? Miss knowing my enemies were the ones speaking English. <laughs> it was simpler. But hey. To new friends. To simplicity. Okay, on your feet, move now. We have British soldiers right behind us on our trail. The roofs don't deal with that noise. Shout again. I will open your mouth. Reach in, cut your vocal cords. Understand? Understand? She is your husband. I really don't know the right dosage for kid. I could only her trying to help. Why not just kill her now? Move on. She's slowing us down, having to carry her. Shut up, animal. I am the one carrying her. It's okay by me. Be quiet. Don't upset the man. Right. Everyone ready to move? He isn't. Guess that's why he wanted to know which way is south. Hell of a time for it. I'd say it's exactly the right time for a prayer. If I believe, I'd be right down there on my knees with it. Finn believes? Don't you, Finn? Ain't you gonna drop and join him? It's not my flavour, pal. No offence. None taken. Hey! Come on, mate. Enough of that. You may be careful to carry her, but she is slowing us down! They're getting closer. Kill the girl! No! We'll leave her, slow them down. You're getting soft. They need to stop and kill her. That will buy us time. This is Romeo 1 1. We have a kid crying for help up ahead. Over. Romeo 1 1, this is Zero Alpha. Right on the tail. Are you sure? Daddy! Mr. Malik, stay back until we call you.
okay. It's okay. No, Daddy! Aisha! Claymore. C4 and ball bearings. Corporal Hoffman, take the Sat Nav and Corporal Younger, keep on their trail. Don't want to lose contact. Mr. Malik, don't worry. Corporal Woolston is the best munitions man in the regiment. That means I really hate loud bangs. Then you're gonna be fine. Just stay very still. Yeah. Repeat! They booby trapped the girl. They used a the tripwire. Well, it slowed them down. These people are mucking around! Neither are we. Dave knows what he's doing. Sorry, mosquito. Daddy, my shoulder hurts. We'll help you soon, my little princess. Not long. You're very brave. Farah. We'll save her. I gave my word. Safe now. That wasn't me. No, it was me. Under my hip. Don't move. I'm doing nothing. Trust me. I bloody hate mines. Me too. But you're gonna be fine. You should back off. In case I go up. Not gonna happen, Trooper. Right, Corporal? You got it? No. Yes. Ah. Uh. Is that a good R uh, or a bad R? Uh? Well, that depends how you feel about toe poppers. Just don't release the pressure. Aisha, do you like knock-knock jokes? Knock-knock jokes? Knock-knock. Who's there? Aaron. Aaron who? Aaron, underside of caution, when diffusing a mine underneath one of your friends. <sighs> Don't moan. Just get a bend on. I'm... I'm getting cramp stains still like this. Sneaky bastards. Claymore. Type of Perfect. No time to gloat. Move on. We have to get to the border. We keep a speed up, but we don't need to kill ourselves. Pressure's off. And I thought British were supposed to be best special forces in the world. Your sister wouldn't have been hurt. Only the soldiers. <laughs> Zero Alpha. This is Ranier 1 2 Bravo. Over. Zero Alpha, this is Romeo, one, two, Bravo, over. I'm getting no signal. We come sorry, pal. You ain't my pal. They're my pals. You just arrived. Okay, fair enough. What now? What the captain said. Keep in contact with the kidnappers. We've still got the sat nav and there's one little girl still out there.
Captain. I know. We've got our issues sorted out and then get after the fire. But shouldn't we? They heard the explosions. They'll think we were caught in their booby traps and slowed down a bit. We'll catch up. One of my men's bringing her out. We need a med team to RV with him. Here. Any other casualties? No. They booby trapped the girl, but we spotted it. Good news. Sergeant Kolchorovsky, get a med team inbound now. Where's he going now? Covering his ass. Miriki, Suda. I need you to carry her down the hill and rendezvous with the UBs. You're sending me back. Send him. Trooper Gallagher says she's in shock. She's lost too much blood. I didn't give her more morphine. Because I've no idea how much the bastards have pumped into her. Send her dad. You're the strongest. You have to do it. He hasn't got the navigation skills to make the RV alone. If you get in a fight, you'll need every... Corporal. This is the day you do your duty by heading away from the fight and saving a life. Corporal. You will save a life. Say again. No one hurt. You keep on their tail, we'll catch you up. Out. Message received. Out. They're going to catch us up. The man now look at our vehicle was out of all the men at time. Thank you, Corporal. God be with you. You like flying a desk as much as I do. They're my troop. I should be with them. You're like a stuck record, Henry. So, Brigen. Rosvitie. Vito. Konchalovsky. Sergeant. The fort is a five, six hour run from here. Hoffman and Younger up ahead will join them. You haven't caught the kidnappers by then? Forget it. From now on, it's a sprint. Zeming's got a GPS tracker. The girls' watch is sending out a strong enough signal. They should be with them by now. Not necessarily. The terrain's difficult. Anyway, they've got one go. Leave it, Henry. Yes. Have they? Bastards! No, 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 no. If they believe we think the trap worked, they'll get sloppy. And if they're sloppy, they'll run into us. And then they'll be dead. What? British, still behind us. They weren't caught in the trap. The race is still on. There's one more thing. Give it me. Give it me! I thought you knew about what was in this watch. I'd cut your ears off. What's happening? There's a tracker device in this watch. It's an ESCS managed to keep on our trail. So did it? Not yet. Come on. You're lucky he likes children. What is it? The kidnappers left the girl directly in the path of our troop. I mean, it's a big forest. How could they have known exactly what route they're on? Meaning? Meaning half this lot used to be Red Army. Old habits, old loyalties die hard. You think there's a mole? We're in bandit country. I trust no one. Any candidates? 
Well, the colonel keeps running off to his mert to make sack calls, and the laughing sergeant told one of his men to scope out our tracker system. I don't think he knows the girl's got the watch on, but I think he suspects. Spoke in Russian, thinks I can't. Well, you're a suspicious sod, Henry. One of the things I like about you. So there is something, then? Which way south? Shh, shh, shh. Drink first. After. Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? Say one for me and all, mate. You're keeping up well. the first. What harm can it do? This is Romeo 1-1. One, one. Where the hell are these people? They should be with you any minute. Over. I know you get them to pull their finger up because this girl is in trouble. Keep coming, Dave. They're inbound. Over. Well, I can walk all day and all night, but this little girl, she feels every bloody step. Aisha, do you know any songs? It's okay. No, no, baby, don't, don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Come on, sing with me. Come on. Yeah. Look, I, I will sing the song, and you, you can sing the chorus. And you know, I have got a terrible voice. It is guaranteed to keep you awake. Um, don't worry about a thing. The track has stopped moving. How long has it been like that? Not long. You think they're resting? Or waiting? Zero Alpha, Zero Alpha. This is Romeo One, Zero Alpha. The track has stopped moving. You may be walking into an ambush over. This is Zero Alpha. Roger that. Out. Out. Watch a static. The kidnappers must have heard the explosions and think they're safe. They're resting up. Should be just over that ridge. Hell of a place to camp. Yeah, it's killing floor. What happens when we get girl across the border? We get bonus and medal. To the girl. Too late for that question, my friend. I still want to know. Look, we hand it to the spooks. The spooks do what their political bosses want. What do they want? They want to show West that was a Bacalli's feeling state where fat, happy Westerners shouldn't go. They want to show things would be better if you put toothpaste back in tube, put us back in charge. Mother Russia, and the child. And the child. They'll use it to concoct a provocation. I don't know. Maybe they'll fix an area where brave Russian anti-terrorist forces try to rescue her from wicked Baikali terrorists. Maybe she'll even survive. Unlike this British. The following. Now, enough talk. Get a move on. Smell that? 
campfire. Do you reckon they think we bought it with the booby traps? Maybe. You go wide, very wide. Come in the back door. Trooper, left flank. Younger, right flank. Slow and easy. I'll take point. Once we're over the ridge, no voice traffic until we know what we're dealing with. You stay back below the ridge line. Silent routine. Okay? We've got the men for lab. If they move, it's dead.
Romeo 1 2, the machine gunner is down. Romeo 1 2, this is Romeo 1 3, there's still a sniper out there, stay low. Third of LA. In the right eye, right? In one end of the scope and out the other. No. Still. Hell of a shot. You got really close. Yeah, well, close don't count, mate. More bad news. Why did they leave that there? The question is, how do they know there's a tracking device in it? He used to. That's why he's soft. Where is Kimo? He's not coming. Rostom. Let's move. Let me go! Let me go! Fleming agrees with your theory about there being a mole. Leaving a broken clock's right twice a day. Who are we looking at then? Well, there are plenty of suspects. As I said before, half the Uzbekal army were Red Army up until independence. Take your pick. Colonel Bundachuk? I don't know. A fish does stink from the head. But the Russians don't like us being pally here. And if they can make it look like it was the Ingushetians that were responsible for the kidnapping... It's a two-for-one deal. The Russians will look for any excuse to roll into Ingushetia, just like they did in Chechnya. That explains it. Maximum media coverage. And by the sounds of the way the firefight went down, it looks like we're dealing with elite troops, not a bunch of terrorist yahoos. You're thinking Spetsnaz? I hope not. But if I'm right, I have a pretty good idea who our mole is. How's the little girl? Just touch and go for a while. But she's with the paramedics. Nice work. Well done. I need a favor. So? Check 
Check ahead. Romeo right. 1 Zero Alpha, this is Zero Alpha. We have a problem. You can see our location. The trail splits. From here it's an hour tops either way into Russia or Ingushetia. Colonel! A word? All call signs stand by. Our troop is here. What's your guess as to which way these bastards will go? It's a big country. Russian border is possibility. It's only 80 kilometers from here. On the other hand... Slav, the SAS are right behind you with the fork in the trail. You have to get out over the border fast. Uh, they still think you're English. Minuto.
Ostrovia. Što? Kark Manjite, Planiroid Okadić, Čerez Ingušetija ili Rus. Ili ga varajci pa ruski. Da. Stoj! Where the hell is Henry? I know it's some quiet time, boss. Govari, Sishas. Where have they taken the girl? Go to hell. No doubt I have a room already reserved. But right now, we have a little girl to save. So talk! Screw her. She's dead. What you gonna do? Torture me? You're a Brit. Brits don't do torture. No. But that's why I'm gonna use a bit of poetry. You said you liked it. Poetry? Say hello to Mr. Browning. Ah! I... Give me a map reference! <laughs> best you can do. She'll die screaming. What do I care? Didn't you say all child kidnappers needed castrating? Top of the track, absolutely. Deadly squat. Zero Alpha, Zero Alpha. This is Romeo One, Zero Alpha. The X rays are RVing with a vehicle in Russia in the area of grid 226892. Out. Down there, it's about 20 minutes Got it. Thank you, Sergeant. Good work. Boss. What happened to him? He, uh, thought I was going to shoot him in the bollocks. But you didn't. No, I must have missed. You know what I'm like with small targets. What is this? Uh, this is a traitor. This is a reason that the kidnappers always knew exactly where we were and where and when to set ambushes. But he's a Baikali. He's ex Peznas, he's ex Red Army. What do you expect? I was Red Army. But now I am Baikali Army. Yo, yeah, well, you must be one of the good guys. He isn't. Sergeant Garvey just did a spot of housekeeping for you. No charge. <laughs> At last. Rush is on the other side of that road. Me. Smodovy, gdzie jest City? Da, da. We made it. We're not allowed to cross the Russian border. There's absolutely no way I can ask you to follow me. No, sir. So please, stay here. No, sir. Give me a gun. No, ladies, guys, do the one thing. Ladies, I mean, one thing, one thing only. You expect me to wait? No. Come with me. I need the higher ground. I'm going to do math. Okay.
over in place, sir. Just. A British SAS officer, big propaganda coup. Go on. Leave her. Take me. Those two, drop your guns and communications. Drop your guns! Can't do the shot, sir. That's better. You can make the shot, sir, but it's your call. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to put your gun down now. Or what? Or I'll put a bullet through your eye. With what? With this. Crazy English, screw you! <laughs> Cheers, mate. It's okay. It's okay. It's safe now. Just don't look. Come on, Patrick. That guy over there? It's your dad. No, my dad. But he's not a soldier. No, but he's definitely one of the good guys. Daddy! Oh, baby. <laughs> Enough said. Ben! Hi. Must have been about half a mile. Hi. Hell of a shot. Hi. Hey. In the right, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, mate. No worries. Becca? Really? Thank you. Coming out of bounds with me. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Never happened. Right. Well, thanks anyway. Come on, then. Home for tea and medals. Boss. Sit, Rep. Good news or bad news? Don't sod around. Did you get the girl? Safe and sound. Nah, bad news is the Rupert. Well, the Rupert's dead. Nope, the Rupert's good. Really? Afraid so. Now we've decided not to call him the Rupert anymore. Jolly good. His name's Patrick. Well, I hope that you and Patrick will all be very happy together. Look, strike that. Sounds like he deserves it. Job well done. Romeo one zero Alpha out. Well, you were right. You did well. So did you. Just doing my job. No, not that. This. That sergeant that I shot, Konchalowski. Hmm? He was stuck in the past. Couldn't adapt. He was a dinosaur, Henry. 
Yeah, well, I'm not prepared to become one of those just yet. So, what are you going to do? Evolve. Good man. This country's on the verge of anarchy. We're entrusted with training a patrol for a special operation. This is a job, not a holiday. This way, at least, you get shot with a bit of adrenaline in you. You sound to man. That lot couldn't mount sheep, let alone an operation. There's no way those men are ready to go into action. The check would have been fine. Windows contract. I want it. I give you the name of a company, you award them the bid. Next on four, Falcone. Totally legit, totally clean. That's how it's got to go down. And next week here on ICV1, all three Matrix films on three consecutive nights. See the fight against machines from start to finish. <laughs>